Thank you all for joining us for our live stream this afternoon from Firaxis Games. My name is Pete Marie. Um, I want to thank everybody who came out this past weekend to Firaxicon. I hope uh, if you came, you had a wonderful time. Uh, I don't know if it's possible that you guys had as much fun as our staff did. We're still running around Firaxis uh, talking about what a good time we had, getting a chance to meet people, talk about our games, show people beyond Earth. Uh, we ran an XCOM tournament that was very exciting. Uh, went until 1 o'clock in the morning with the, with the final matches. There was some real intense stuff there. Uh, there were some great talks by people uh, here at the studio talking about how we make our games. Uh, Jake interviewed Sid after dinner, which was hilarious. Uh, there was a trivia contest. That was okay. Uh, all sorts of really great stuff in the course of the weekend. We had nearly 200 fans join us in Hunt Valley. Um, if you didn't make it this year, um, we're hoping we can do it again. It's, it was a lot of fun for us. It was the sort of thing that, that felt really, really good to do. So at this point, we're just about uh, three weeks away from the launch of uh, Civilization Beyond Earth. And uh, up till now on this live stream, we started out showing you the beginning of the game, how to interact with the aliens. Uh, we've shown you how the various systems in the game. We've taken it down deep under the hood and shown you how it works. But one of the things that we haven't done is we haven't done a straight up let's play. And so it seemed like it would make a lot of sense to, uh, to do that for the live stream. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to begin a multi-part playthrough of Civilization Beyond Earth. Um, I'm going to play as Brasilia. We're going to start at the opening menu and we're going to go through until we achieve a victory. Uh, and then hopefully after that we'll be coming up very close to the launch of the game itself and then we'll be able to see uh, where things are. I personally can't wait for you guys to get your hands on it. The people playing it this weekend at Firaxcon are having a ton of fun with it. And uh, hopefully soon the rest of the world gets a chance to do it on October 24th. That's our worldwide release date. If you haven't pre-ordered yet, uh, you still got time to do so and receive the Exoplanets map pack as our uh, pre-order incentive. Um, it's very, very cool. We've got some different map script options built in within that. All right, are you guys ready? Let's go ahead and we will get started with our game. So the only thing that I've settled on 100% is uh, that I want to play as Brasilia and I kind of have in my head that I'd like to go for a domination victory because I looked and, and actually on my... Uh, Steam account, I don't have any, the achievement for Domination Victory in Civ 5. Uh, that's not usually the way I play, so we will have to see. We're going to just, we're going to pick standard difficulty because if I pick anything harder, everything I own will die in the miasma. I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, so we'll pick standard game pace and a standard map size as well too. I don't think we need to play on a massive map. I think that should be good. Alright, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick our new our sponsor, we're going to choose Brasilia uh, for the combat strength for the melee units. Let's choose our colonists. Uh, lately I've picked a lot of artists, but I feel like it's time for me to maybe break out of my comfort zone a little bit. I think I'm going to go with either scientists or engineers. I guess if Brasilia is sending an expedition to another planet, does it make sense that it's a kind of like a military scientific uh, organization, like the equivalent of Stargate? or a military engineering crew, or somebody who's going to go and settle in on a new planet and go from there. I'm going to choose engineers because I feel like even if I got stymied on a start at the beginning and I don't have a hill tile that I can build off of, um, at least it won't be 700 turns before I'm able to get that old earth relic uh, up and running in good order. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to see Continental Surveyor. I don't think I want to pick that. Probably choose either Retrograde Thrusters or Tectonic Scanner. I feel like for a domination victory, tectonic scanner would be pretty good. The ability to see those resources right from the get-go is going to let me know whether or not I need to beeline for those techs to start exploiting them, or retrograde thrusters, which would give me better intel about the area I'm going into. Um, you know, I really like the new changes to retrograde thrusters, uh, but I'm I think discovery is half of the fun of a civilization game, so I'm going to go ahead and pick tectonic scanner so I don't spoil too much of the ground for me. And for, for role-playing purposes, it seems like a weapon arsenal would be the logical choice. But it might also be good to start with a worker unit. And these are scientists, so I could potentially start with either uh, the clinic building. No, I picked engineers. Excuse me. I was going to pick scientists, but I picked engineers. So I could pick the clinic, and then I would have the science trickle starting to come in. That would be pretty good. That would let me start by working on the old earth relic early on and then switching to a worker. And then, yeah, I think I'm, you know what? I'm really torn here. But I think I'll begin with a clinic in my city. I think that will be a good uh, direction to go. We can prioritize something out after that. And I am actually going to choose Theodore 279H 
for the Terran world because I like the uh, traditional continental setup. So here is our expedition sent from Brasilia to settle on this planet. Our organization, our military engineers sent to find a new home for humanity on a distant planet, leaving Brasilia behind, getting ready to settle, equipped with what they need for initial scientific inquiry. What's this colony going to evolve into? You know, right now they're going to be focused on survival and learning about the world around them, but we'll have to see what happens from there. All right. So we are in orbit. Oh, and it actually looks like I, oh, this is a pretty decent start right here. All right. So I don't have a hill tile right within my initial drop here, and I want to stay on the coast. So the grassland there with the extra food is good. Having the uh, production from the fiber and the, uh, oh, there is a hill. That is a hill tile itself. Okay, that's good. Um, and some fungus that I can farm for food later on. So it feels like this is a pretty solid drop spot here. I don't want to destroy the fungus by landing on it, so we'll go ahead and we'll choose our, our coastal tile to start with. And here it is, year zero of the new colony settling on this fungal planet. We are all set to go. We've made planet fall. We're going to go ahead and choose production. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick the old earth relic to start that uh, ticker going up on culture. And I need to choose a research project. And uh, let me jump back to the map for a moment. I do not have any algae right off the coast, so I don't see a need to start going for uh, planetary survey right away uh, because I don't need to work that. Um, I don't really think I need to embark right now. And I don't see any of those advanced resources within the initial drop site right here, although there is an alien nest with three xenomass underneath it. So that's going to be in a good initial challenge to have to worry about. There's some chitin over here. Um, yeah, like I said earlier, fungus and um, fiber, two fiber tiles to work later on. So I think the thing that we're going to need to do, let's just go ahead and we're going to pick pioneering. Good, safe start for us. I'm going to start. Let's see if there's anybody home. Yep, there's some wolf beetles in the nest. We'll go ahead and we'll give that a, a wide berth uh, to prevent them from attacking us straight out. Maybe later on we can go back and we can clean that out. And so ends the first day. Looks like it's a... Oh! Why are you settling on my planet? This Kawaran, the African people greet you. Nobody told me anybody else was coming. This is disappointing. This was supposed to be my world, the world that I was going to settle on and create in my vision. And now having other people here, you know, any number of things can happen. They could fail to see the genius of the vision that I have prepared for this planet. And they can uh, mess up the, the utopia that I'm preparing to create. This is horrible. More people coming. How may the corporation serve you? How may the corporation serve me? You can get off my planet. We'll, just, we'll talk to you guys later. I hope you have a wonderful time. Watch out for the siege worms. All right, there's a lot of miasma around here. And a lot of alien nests. This is going to be a very challenging open to this game. Um, I also am going to be in a bit of a rough spot here. All right, let's see what happens. Yep, there go the drones. All right, we're going to go ahead. We're going to have to move out here. All right, Citadella has grown. Oh, there's some petroleum over on this peninsula here. Two petroleum resources. Two petroleum, that's enough to uh, maybe get a satellite up in orbit later on. But I'm really concerned about the amount of miasma. So this is definitely going to change the way I'm going to be building out from later on. I, I really think I'm going to need to prioritize um, ecology for the miasmic repulsor. And, you know, as, as much as I don't want to do that, I really don't have a lot of room to expand. And these aliens are starting to cut off my, uh, my access to the north here. That's, uh, that's very disappointing. I'm very disappointed in this world and the other people who have landed on it. All right, we've got a quest update. Let's check that out. Okay, they want us to consider founding an outpost. That's a great idea, which we'll get to eventually. I'm going to go ahead and we'll keep, keep exploring here. All right, the old Earth relics come online now. That's fantastic. Uh, it's probably time to start building a soldier, just because there seem to be a lot of aliens spawning around here. Uh, I can only move 
common tile there that's going to end up in miasma, and it's all right. Still think I need to push out quite a bit here. This wouldn't be a bad spot to start looking at a second city. Uh, there's algae there that's going to provide him food. There's that resource pod. Thank heavens. Oh, and titanium. Okay, that would be good. So we've got some silica over here that will help. Uh, you know what? Let me turn the tile yields on for you so you guys get to see what I'm, what I'm thinking around here. So this uh, silica will increase uh, the science yield. There's lots of, um, lots of resolin around here, which is really useful later on for the number of uh, improvements that kind of get added onto the paddock. So um, potentially this is a pretty solid spot as well too. It's going to end up working at least two of those. Let's go. Okay, and we've got a solar collector uh, for the city of Citadella. All right, so you got population two, which right now feels a bit early to launch a satellite because what happens is if I do launch the solar collector, and I'm just going to pull up the launch key real quick, you can see it's going to, it's going to work all those tiles beneath it. Uh, but I would only be able to get the one in the city and one adjacent tile as well, too. So I think what I'm actually, uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to sleep the solar collector for now. I'll launch it if it comes down to that later on. But I've got a quest decision to work on right now. Oh, here we go. When we came to this planet, we brought a number of plants from old Earth. And the plants have taken root outside of Citadel and turned invasive. If unchecked, they can convert the local environment to a more Earth-like ecosystem. Do we want to do this? If we contain the outbreak, that'll give us points towards harmony. If we ignore it, it gives us uh, additional options for purity or supremacy. Well, let's look at the options that we have here. So we know that nearby there are three, six xenomass resources, which seems a like, complete absence of any ferroxite or floatstone, which means Based on this decision right now, it looks very much like we're going to need to make a decision to go towards harmony. And maybe that would be a good idea because with the miasma that's surrounding us, um, maybe if we start pushing in that direction, if we get our, our harmony levels up quickly, we, we will take less damage at, at harmony level three and we'll start healing at harmony level six. That'll also keep the alien gradual levels down, which might mean that we can get some workers out and do some decent things uh, in the environment. But I do think I do need to have that soldier queued up. So you know what? We're going to make an early decision. So right now, we're going to contain the outbreak, and we're going to begin to push ourselves in kind of a harmony direction here. And we'll wait to see what happens. All right, end of our turn. Let's see, has anything else happened? Seven resources. Okay, that's our quest uh, that we've got. Aliens detected, that's fine. We're gonna leave them alone. We've made contact with the station. Farm base one, all right. The guy just is running around there. All right, and just as I said, doesn't look like we're gonna be able to go in a harmony direction. I find nine floatstone. Well, this would have been a much better place to drop a city, but maybe what I can do is I can begin the process of migrating earlier. If I start maybe an early spread and bring that other city over here, settle it on the coast, get access to all of this titanium, all of the silica, um, that might be pretty useful. I had a request to turn on resource icons. I can do that. Let's go ahead and we'll do that so you can see which tiles are special and which tiles are just sort of being generically worked right now. I still feel like as a long-term strategy, Harmony is going to be the way to go, but especially because the paddock improvements start getting good. But that would imply I know which direction the future of humanity is going to go, and I don't, as it's just a few years after we've made Planetfall here. All right, now I've gone ahead and I've grabbed some tiles. Doesn't seem to be anything else to do with the main city here. We will go ahead and we will keep exploring. This is a really great spot over here. Look, geothermal. Six geothermal resources, easily capable of powering wonders. Um, you know, if I moved, if I tucked that city up in this direction, I could, uh, I could lose the coast bonuses, but, uh, you know, potentially gain some energy bonuses and the ability to build some of those wonders that require um, access to a, to a canyon. All right, it's time for our first virtue, choice. I could choose might for the, the rank up, but I think my plans are gonna uh, involve mostly leaving the alien wildlife around. I feel like it's a little bit early to start pushing knowledge, but I do know I do want to go to that at some point. If 
I haven't used my I haven't used my Explorer's first expedition module. And 30 science this early in the game would be fantastic, but I don't know where uh, my first expedition site will be. So perhaps that's not the way to go. Plus 10% production toward buildings. I know I'm going to be building mostly units next. So I think what I'll do is I'll just take the 10% food retained after the city grows. We've got time to reformat, uh, but right now I can potentially use that to beeline for a free colonist. Maybe that would be a good direction to go. Still got some time on that. Citadel has expanded to three people. In nine turns, it'll be at four. Let's go ahead and we're gonna look at my worker management screen. Um, I actually would like to move things along a little bit. I'm gonna bump up onto a production focus a little bit. Uh, that'll steal a little bit of food. I'm okay with, uh, with growing a little bit more slowly right now. We've got some time. I'm gonna focus on a wide strategy rather than a tall one. So we'll see what happens. Unit needs orders. Right, this guy's getting ready to explore. Yeah, why couldn't I land over here? Why? More titanium. More titanium. This is fantastic. All right, we have a priority. And that's together what we are going to temporarily determine, uh, temporarily call the Western Resource Zone. I think the Western Resource Zone should be our, our medium term objective over here. Let's go ahead and we'll make sure that there aren't any other people planning to come and conquer the Western Resource Zone in the near future. But I think we need to get something out there fast. Good thing I've got that Marine queued up, or uh, that soldier queued up ready to go. Yeah, this place is just too fantastic for words. All these beautiful coastal tiles, great places to grow food. There's even algae off the coast that's gonna be workable. I, I almost think this is gonna be the best spot. Um, potentially missing out on a couple, oof, where to do though? Two resolin grabbed early, that would be good. There's food uh, from the fungus, there's food from the uh, fruit. Oh, this is really titanium there, geothermal down here. All sorts of choices. Although, if I go down this direction and settle here, um, over time I'll be able to work my way out to that floatstone. Although, that floatstone potentially is going to be outside of the range of an ultrasonic fence if I build it. These are, these are not easy choices right now. Okay, and there is an alien nest there. I'm out of moves for the turn. This is the problem with exploring in this tight terrain. Let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. I am in miasma. The aliens see it coming. They're sending, uh, sending their guys down. They're like, go ahead and get out. I think that's probably, probably a safe bet for right now. Okay, the Marine is uh, soldier's done. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move him up. Time for, time for a worker, I think. It seems to be what everybody thinks is a good idea. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna have that soldier four to five right now. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to, uh, let's see. I've only got one movement left. Oh gosh, I think no matter what I do, I end up in miasma at some point. Let's go ahead and explore a little bit. Got some damage. It might be worth trying to push through here to see what's on the other side of this canyon complex. Oh, this is not good. Oh, that was a bad decision. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to choose to provide care for civil workers, which means our clinic will contribute uh, additional health to us. Quest. Yeah, yeah, this is. Although, all of that Xenomass up there really starts to validate the idea of going for a harmony approach. And potentially, nine floatstone as a tradable resource later in the game might be very valuable, particularly if somebody's going purity. So we are going to go ahead. I'm, I'm really starting to think. The universe is either in progress or in entropy. We choose progress. We choose progress. But at this point, we know that we're going to have to make adaptations for the alien world. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go in this ecology direction. Um, I actually think I'm going to push alien biology. That's slow growing, but maybe maybe be better to hold off. Let's see. Don't need the pharma lab quite yet. I'm still at five health. Site and nursery would be good, but I don't have marsh, which would be uh, useful for that. I will double check that in a second. There's no workable petroleum right now, so there's no need to build a petroleum well. The recycler would be good, but I'm not trading yet. And biochemistry potentially useful later on. Mm. Really do think ecology and maybe alien biology after that as my, as my best choices. Alien sciences is still a fit, bit far off, and I think it's gonna be some time before we get to, uh, 
tapping those Xenomass wells um, for the goodies therein. I've still got some movement left. But one of the things that I hate is I feel like I'm boxed in by this continent. Uh, the alien nests that are right there in the wilds outside of my uh, outside of my immediate city areas means that pretty much I'm giving up time uh, finding resource pods and falling behind in that respect too. So it's not a great uh, start for me. There's a, look at all this energy, energy from rivers, energy from floodplains. So I know that the rivers are converging up this direction as well. So would building it in the hook of that river be okay? Still feel like it'd be better to have it on the coast and then I could connect with the trade route. Uh, these are the tough choices. But we'll go ahead and we'll see if we can find a safe place to go from there. No, ooh, yeah. I'm really torn. Maybe two cities over this neck of the woods. As long as somebody doesn't drop a station down, I think that'll be fine. All right, workers just about online. It's just a couple more turns until that's ready. Time for another virtue. What are we going to choose? Well, 30% 30% speed towards outpost growth. I know that I'm going to need to expand in order to do this. I think I'm going to need to embrace a broad strategy, a wide strategy. We'll go ahead and we'll choose that because I know it's going to come down to that pretty soon. Unit needs orders. Okay. Resource pod. And, of course, it's right behind an alien nest, making it really hard to grab. Um, potentially... Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hunt around a little bit. I'm gonna hope I come across an alien ruin that gives me the opportunity to go on kind of like a vision quest for what my affinity would be. If I do that, I might be able to drive myself in a purity direction, and with that, keep my explorer safe and maybe allow him to go around and uh, pillage out those pods. All right, time to make some choices about what I'm gonna do. 17 turns until a colonist is ready. In the meantime, I'm giving up uh, the trade depot, but that's probably okay because right now I don't really have a partner I could trade with. Whereas if I establish another city right off the coast here, potentially that works out very well as a trade partner. You can use that internal trade route to grow. So I am actually going to go ahead and choose a very early colonist as a direction to go. Ecology's still going. We've got 13 turns until that's, until that's in place. I will have the vivarium, which will give me the option to grow food in the desert. But I still think it might be better to plant here on the coast on this grassland and then settle up. I don't know. It's going to be tough, whichever way. Unit needs orders. Okay, let's see. You go. Oh, there's a derelict settlement. Oh, that's interesting. Potentially population in that, and there are the alien ruins that I've been looking for the whole time. All right, it's going to take some finesse, but I think I'm going to be able to get my uh, explorer around there. Meantime, I'm going to send this worker up there, start a plantation, at least uh, get some additional production going, maybe speed that. Uh... Oh no, who's dropping right next to me? The Slavic Federation. Sputnik, Slavenska Federacja pozdrawiaje tebia. Ah, the Slavic Federation is a really growth-focused faction. They tend to regard the whole planet as theirs more or less. So I'm pretty sure it's going to come to blows with them sooner rather than later. They are really not all that far away, are they? They're just down the coast from us. It might be time to start uh, exploring some naval options, as it were. All right, there's no miasma on that progenitor ruin. I still have my expedition module ready to go, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start on that. Uh, if I get time, I might even be able to hook back through and maybe clear some things out. But I'm in a pretty good spot to start with. Aliens detected near Citadella. We're going to go ahead and we're going to just let some turns go here. Venez, mettez vous à l'aise. Franco Iberia vous accueille chaleureusement. Welcome to the planet, Franco Iberia. It's my planet. I don't know why you all came. All right, quest decision. Okay, so I have a choice between Shackleton, which gives me culture, production, and science, or Palatine, which gives four culture. So it seems like the mix from Shackleton would probably be better, um, especially because I haven't been able to pick anything up particularly good. Shackleton settles over here. That's great. They didn't take a coastal spot. 
I can start building that as trade units. They will be able to get up there in fairly good order. I wasn't planning to drop a city in this general direction, so that's all right. Let's see, how many turns are left here? Looks like he's got three turns until he's done. This isn't miasmic, is it? No, all right. Time progresses slowly. All right, that worker is done. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move him, step him up just a little bit and I will move the Marines with them. Hang on a second, let's double check this real quick. See where my alien nests are. There's one over there that puts him three tiles away. Okay, so I don't think the aliens will regard that as a threat and that will keep them from pillaging this guy. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna work this. Let's go back to Cidella. Yep, I am working the tiles that I want to work. For the most part, we'll be able to move that in a second. Do need to focus pretty heavily on growth as soon as, uh, as soon as these guys get done. Workers fortify, and we are ready to continue. All right, here we go. So we've acquired knowledge of synergetics, which actually means we've gotten research points that apply towards it. That's very interesting. So what we can do is we can look up real quick and we can check synergetics. Oh, synergetics is all the way up there. Well, that does give us access to the microbial mine and that is harmony focused. The organ printer, which is the science percent increase, requires a lot of supremacy. The armor sale is good for protecting cities. But up here is where the Roctopus may be found. Hmm. All right, so not such a bad thing after all. We're still six turns out from ecology, so we'll keep our scientists working uh, as they are. I do need to get this explorer back to the city so that he can go ahead and recharge his... Uh... Oof, let's see real quick here. So if I go over here, I'm going to trigger the alien nest. I'm going to trigger the defense reaction from the wolf beetles. But if I go over here, I'm going to end up in miasma. Um, I think it's worth it. I don't think we want to be attacked right now, especially since we're trying to very carefully thread the needle uh, with our units not alienating the wildlife so that hopefully at some point in the future we can use them to help us. Mandira, the Kavithian Protectorate has arrived. The temple doors of the Protectorate are open. All right. Well, thank you for coming, Kavithan Protectorate. I wish you luck as things go here. All right, I've got this guy. Ugh. Again, I'm going to end up two tiles from that because my worker is there. <laughs> what I could do is I could, yes, I'm going to pop the Marine down here and stay there. Drop my yield icons real quick. I'll turn them back on when it's time to settle the city so we can start looking at how things are shaping up. Go ahead and bring this guy into the city. You'll notice if I bring him up again, you'll see that his expedition module has recharged. I still want to clear out these alien nests. I still want to get access to this spot over here. But I don't know. It's going to be risky. Don't feel like pushing it right now. I think it right now would be better to just get that colonist in position. Unit needs orders. I'm going to go ahead and have these guys bump up just a little bit. So we can, oh, that was too aggressive. Okay, thanks for coming. These guys are blocking my path. All right. It might actually be worth investing in a technology that would let me embark and cut off on that thing. And I know I'm going to need, uh, I know I'm going to need to get over there sooner or later. In the meantime, we'll have, uh, we'll have our explorer heal up a little bit. The Kabithan Protector take their turn. Time to develop another virtue here. Well, I don't think I want to push for the free colony initiative. I don't know that I need the, the tile improvements. 
might be good to start going adaptive tactics and at least get that uh, promotion, let that work into uh, going all the way down to scavenging because I know at some point soon we're gonna have to clear out those nests. So that would be, that would be one direction to go. Plus I'm pretty sure we're gonna end up in a violent confrontation with our neighbors on this planet. 15% production towards buildings would be good for right now. I do want the ability to uh, start uh, you know, standardized architecture. I do know I want to start going in that direction as well, too. Uh, faster tile improvements. Right now, I've only got one worker. That would be a bit, bit of a push. Got some time. Additional energy in the capital might be good. Additional energy from basic resources would be very helpful because I'm getting at least plus two at that point. Um, then, once I settle a new city, if I get prosperity again, I could found a worker. No, the worker will found near my capital. Tough choices here. So start going down to industry. Or unlock might. Still think we got time before we need to start fighting those alien nests. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to begin moving towards standardized architecture so that colonist, which will hopefully become a new city soon, will be able to model what the parent, what the capital city of Citadel is doing here. That's the plan. Let's see if that ends up being what happens. You guys fortify up. I definitely think we're going to have to cut off this trip around the coast using embarkation. Haven't seen too many aliens in the ocean yet, which is a good sign. So we'll go ahead and we'll see that. Let's see how Citadella doing. We're still on a production focus. We've got 13 production per turn right now. That's a good solid uh, growth pattern. Like they're going to go ahead and add that tile next. It looks like I've only got 30 and I'm beginning to lose a little bit of energy uh, as a result of this. What would happen if I move this guy off? I'm coming a little bit down but I'm not bleeding energy out anymore either. Still not yielding a whole ton. All right, we're gonna have to, we're gonna go with that as an option. Okay, this worker is pretty badly damaged from having spent all of his time in miasma. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna bring him back, let him heal up a little bit. So back, you go ahead and fortify until you're ready to go. Citadel is not prepared to grow yet. When Coyote learned he was the only one of his kind on the new planet, his howl echoed through the rifts and off the distant hills. Okay. Pretty useful, but I think it's time that we need to research embarkation. So we're going to go to planetary survey. We're going to pick that. And uh, that will allow us to cut off the worst of this uh, bottleneck past this alien nest through all this miasma with our colonist unit. It's 13 turns away, but I think that's gonna have to be the safe way to go. Oh, look, the Slavic Federation ex explorers are out already combing the planet. All right, how's our explorer doing? He's, he's just about ready, I think. How are you doing? Yep, let me go ahead and see what's over that direction. Let's go ahead and we will, let's see who's in the area here. We're behind on points right now. That's all right, let's talk to Vadim Kozlov. Got anything to Prashu, do? Gavari. So, he's not getting as much energy per turn, but he's got more energy to deal with than we do. We could trade some size per turn. We could do open borders. I could ask for a cooperative agreement with him. Let's see what he would think about that. Prashu, Gavari. Would a cooperation agreement with him buy us some time? Might make him more aggressive. He might decide that I'm a pushover and he can come over this direction as much as he wants, which I really don't like the idea of. Hmm. It's an interesting puzzle. I wonder who else is on this planet that we could potentially talk to. Let's see who's up here. Okay, so we've got Franco Iberia up here. Do have any pressing concerns with them? No, we have no conflicting territorial claims, but we do with Vadim Kozlov. 
I knew this was going to come into a problem. Well, let's talk to... Bonjour, mon ami. Siediti e parla. Would you like to be my friend? I think not. Hopefully someday soon we'll be able to do something positive with her. How about over here? Uh, we have the Kavithan Protectorate. They're, I don't know that we need them as allies quite yet. We'll get to that point soon enough, I'm sure. Okay, let's get this explorer out of here. Oh, more Xenomass. Xenomass and Miasma, I wonder if he cleared that out. I wonder if Kozlov's irritating the aliens. That would stink. Quests are updated. Mysterious encrypted transmission. The culper cell requires infrastructure. Oh, I know what's going on here. Actually, that might not be a bad track to start pursuing because we know it's going to come down to it at some point. All right, let's get this worker over here. Next turn, he can start on that. Let's go ahead and we're going to push up the coast a little bit. Again, not a bad spot for a city over there uh, with the coral right on the coastline like that. We're going to go ahead and we're going to move this guy on top of our marine. Choose production. Um, I really think we need to get a trade depot up and running, although a miasmic repulsor. Uh, city already has an immobile unit. Yeah. So I've already got a satellite queued up because I put that solar collector to sleep earlier on. Should I put that in orbit now or should I wait a little bit? Well, that's an interesting question. What I could do is, you know what? Maybe now's not a bad time to do that. Let's go into Citadella for a second. If I move this worker over here and I put the solar collector here, then I'm at least getting four of the six tiles up and running underneath it, which would be pretty good. Although that's gonna jam up a good bit of the orbital space where I'm gonna to wanna to clear out my asthma later on. So potentially I'm jamming myself up and a miasmic condenser doesn't or collect, excuse me, miasmic repulsor doesn't stay in orbit very, very long. It might be better to wait. Then at least my capital will grow up a few more population. I can get that satellite launched and then clear the miasma out. It's interesting. I, you don't want to burn this satellite, but by the same token, it's taking up space in the capital itself right now with the one unit per tile. Oh, geez. These are, the, these are the difficult choices of a leader of a colony. Would also increase my energy enough that I wouldn't need to worry about um, running low on power anymore, which would be pretty helpful to have. It's going to jam up at least one additional tile. Uh, you know what? I think I need to go for it. That miasma is just, it's just a pain. It's like I landed in the wildlands this time around. All right. It was free money anyway. We'll be good to go with that. We're going to go ahead and we're going to queue up a miasmic repulsor. And we're going to start clearing out the area around here. Hopefully it'll give us a chance to do that. Go away, Scott. Stop irritating the aliens! What are you doing? Ugh. Kozlov. What are you about, man? Some geothermal over here. It's another six geothermal. It's not a bad spot. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell our worker to build a plantation. I think if we transit through... Oh, it's so risky, though. Nine turns to a planetary survey is ready. Just we're wasting time. We're wasting time with this colonist unit, which is pretty fragile. But at the same time, is it worse when we've got at least two aliens and some drone, uh, t two wolf beetle packs, and at least one group of drones flying around. I, I think I need to play it conservatively, and we'll wait to see what happens. So we'll go ahead and we'll sleep these guys out for a turn. At least if I clear out the miasma, uh, if, at least if I clear out the miasma, then they might go away. Come, Mr. Haban. The Commonwealth welcomes you. Thanks, Hutama. Get it? Instead of like, thanks Obama, it's thanks Utama. I'd like to thank the guys on Sid Fanatics for that terrible joke. Alright, we're gonna go... Yeah, we're just gonna have to stay put for the time being. Oh, this, this kills me. 
This kills me, but I think we need to... Uh... Okay, so, Barre is happy that I'm not shooting wildlife. That's interesting. Okay, New Babylon. Where did New Babylon drop in? Oh, interesting. Interesting, and ARC explorers come all the way out here. Well, I'm going to scoot right past you, Mr. ARC, and I'm going to investigate this satellite, if that's all right with you. Okay, ARC, likewise. Feels good about the alien life of this planet. Should probably be using that to my advantage. Let's go ahead and we're going to talk to these guys real quick. Especially since ARC is on top of the heap right now. Hola, how can I help you? Would you like to sign a cooperation agreement? Make an offer. Well, that's not... Impossible. All right, let's see about Barre. So do we. Good to see you too, bud. All right, discuss. Fadlan, proceed. Sorry, no. All right, fine. I need to have something that you'll be interested in. Then maybe we'll get some trade up and running. Then maybe you'll be okay with that. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll have this explorer start their expedition. Five turns to a planetary survey. I can't come fast enough. But at least I'm culturing my way out to this. I got the... I got the chitin resource now, so I'll have to send my worker over there to, to start working on that next. That'll be useful. All right, the miasmic repulsors loaded up and ready to go. I don't know what the best choice would be. Probably that it's time to start going on the trade depot. Let's go ahead and we're going to launch the miasmic repulsor. Oh, dear. Hmm. Okay, well, if I drop it over here... That's not bad because that'll clear it out from... The, the tile I'm really worried about here is this alien nest. And that's just past my own... I could, I could drop it over here and that would clear out a bunch of miasma, including over this alien nest. But I can't, can't clear out this station, this derelict settlement and the resource pot itself. But I do know that I will need that to go, so... Let's go ahead and we'll clear this out. It'll take a few turns. Maybe we can start squeezing by. There are those drones. All right. So I'm pretty much blocking up my orbital. I'm, I'm jamming myself up on the orbital layer here. So do we advance? Let's see. If we advance, then that definitely means these wolf beetles will attack because I'll be within two tiles of that and there will be nobody on that nest. These wolf beetles may come down and the drones may come over. I just, again, it feels risky. It's just four turns until planetary survey is ready. Once that clears out, I can either do a land trade route potentially, or maybe get a sea trade route going. I'll have to see. In the meantime, I'll just let this go. Whoa, it's a good thing I didn't move out, isn't it? All right, another quest decision. Okay, so now I have a choice between making my old earth relics maintenance free or produce more culture, and I really need that culture. I'm just, I'm not getting the yields I want because I, I'm, I'm tucked in tight up against the coast here. Um, I'm, I'm relying on expanding. I, I'm so far away from that next, uh, that next threshold. Yeah, I, I think it's time to start putting the culture game together. All right, looks like that worker just finished up that plantation. You go over there and you can start a paddock. That'll be great. Appreciate that. Thank you. Chitin is great because it is another uh, production resource. Let's see how many turns you have. You're not crash satellite. That'll be good. Hopefully it's uh, hopefully it's something wonderful within that. Oh, good. Eighty production for Citadella. That's fantastic. All planets possess inherent value and establishing the exact dollar value of the property should be a priority. Fantastic. All right, now it's time to uh, park these soldiers and have them go out. Oh, this is risky. All right, I could return, I should return and reload my expedition module it'll be faster to cut over the water, take advantage of my newfound 
ability to embark. Okay, and now I need to start making some choices about what it is that I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and we're gonna jump back out for a second. All right, the ultimate goal is to put a city somewhere over here. Or over here, maybe over here. But either way, there's a lot going on with that. Uh, it's whether or not I wanna make a, a beeline for that floatstone or, um, that's only two xenomass, that's not a whole lot. Although there is some silica over here that would make it pretty useful. Um, oof. There's plenty of food for growth over in this direction. Pushing in a harmony direction would be pretty good. But again, there's just that tile. I have to end up on that tile if I'm going to use this, this zone to work. So, oof. Uh, what would be the best choice? And again, these are, these are difficult decisions. Would it be better to settle an early city here? Get the uh, silica bonus? Get those access to those uh, resolin. Maybe over time, work your way out to this. I do have the vivarium. That'll allow me to get food out of desert tiles, which would be pretty handy to have. So I think we need to do that. I think at this point, maybe the next city after that extends a little bit up the coastline from it uh, so that there's plenty of time, but grab that geothermal and go. All right, so I know I'm eventually, I'm heading for uh, geothermal, so I can build a geothermal well. Uh, worker miasma, in vulnerability would be pretty darn handy at this point. But so might biochemistry, although I don't have, because um, I'm so pinned in on the coastline, the ability to work that would be pretty, pretty substantial. Gosh. So many choices here. It's, it's too early to start going for alien sciences, I think. Gene Vault. Don't know that I want to pursue that wonder this early. Computing would be an option. That would allow me to get this spy game and the gunboat system going. Don't have copper, but I think it's time to start laying the groundwork for not only my own protection, but potentially dealing with a neighbor who's got a real potential to spread later on. Got a trade route up and going. Might be time to start building some trade vessels see where we're going. Oh, it's only one turn because I've got such uh, production based on what I pulled in earlier. So we'll go ahead and we will get a trade vessel going next turn. Potentially, can that range all the way? Well, worst comes to worst, it's going to sleep out a little bit and it'll be ready when our city comes online. Deorbit imminent. Yep, it's getting near the end of its lifespan. It's halfway through its lifespan. Five more turns and it'll have finished clearing all that out. That's perfectly fine with me. Oop, let's go ahead and close out a portal view for a minute. Send our colonists down there. Okay, we got a trade vessel. Has he got anybody in range? Not yet. All right, well, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. In the meantime, I think it's time to create another worker. I think we're gonna to need to start working some tiles here. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna have this trade vessel sleep out a little bit and when we get our colony established, we'll go ahead and we'll be ready to go. All right, um, I'll put my worker on shore here. The colonist just isn't quite ready yet. Good. Got a virtue up and running. I'm going to choose one energy from each basic resource I'm working. Again, start raking in the money. Um, already up at 95. That's a lot better than I thought it was. I'll have the soldiers fortify for a turn. Have my explorer come ashore. I notice Kozlov's gone. Betty, Betty annoyed the aliens one too many times. Oh, there was my asthma there. That was good. All right. Send him back, pick up his expedition module, heal up a little bit. Okay, looks like that's finished. Let's go ahead and we're going to adjust our workers in Citadelli here. Again, we want to take advantage of that. Uh, ooh, do I want to buy the, the tile that's directly underneath it? 
like I do. I think I'm gonna buy this tile. So if I work this for just a few turns, I can, with the, yeah, that'll be great. Good, I want this guy out here where he's working that chitin resource. Good, I think that'll be solid. All right, let's see if we can get our colonist in position before the top of the hour and we need to say goodbye. Go ahead and keep our explorer moving up the coast. I feel like I'm in a much better spot now. Put this explorer in. Go ahead and have him fortify up. All right, this, uh, this worker is ready to roll, ready to rock. Might even be able to buy a worker when they're new. Pops in. Oh, we're in zone of control issues here. All right, might be worth popping offshore. Again, hugging that coastline going all the way through. Uh, Citadel is just about ready to go. Arrow, do we want to, maybe we could push on research a little bit. We could, we could set it to research. I think I like that. Let's go ahead and that'll develop. Even though, well, would it be more efficient Reset my workers. Okay, I set it to production. I got 14. So I'm already working. Hmm. Interesting. So a little more energy, a little less food. Kind of need Citadel to grow. Hmm, I think we'll take that. Okay. Got a worker ready to go. We'll go ahead and we'll send this worker. We'll go to work at the city. Construct a generator. This is a little bit, I, I, it feels a little dangerous to do this, but I'm aiming for that spot, that spot of grassland right there. Feels like we'll get there safely. Be able to stay clear of the uh... Okay. Fort Barca. And we just come ashore right on time. Looks like we're gonna be in good position to do this. Good. I like the way this is turning out. This is making me happy. Okay. Colonists will be ready to go next turn. Set the Marines to fortify. Up a little bit. Okay. All right. Here we go. Okay, we've got a soldier unit out here protecting us. That's fantastic. You can always use more friends out here in the wilderness. We're going to go ahead and we're going to send this guy up to help out. Let's go ahead and we're going to go into Citadella. Oh, excuse me. We're going to go find our. Find our trade. And we are going to go to Santa Adrial. That will help it grow up faster. How's our explorer doing? He looks like he's ready to roll. Uh, we're going to have him move out and sit here. All right, let's make our quest decision. We will end it, and then it'll be no more turns for today. The indigenous species of the planet may produce a threat to our growth. Really? Have you been paying attention the last few turns? We're going to choose domesticate because we want them to be part of the planet. All right. So that's where we're going to leave it for today. Let's go ahead and we're going to end this session the way we always do. We're going to end by saving our game. Going back to the main menu. Thank you so much for joining us for our first part of our Let's Play live stream uh, where we're playing as Brasilia. Again, thanks to everybody who came out to Firaxicon. I hope you had a wonderful time. We're going to have um, some videos from that posted up pretty soon so you can check out uh, 2K's Facebook uh, and uh, Twitter feed, and they will provide you information with where that's going to be. Um, some very cool stuff that you'll want to keep your eyes out for. But uh, tune in next week as we'll continue in part two of Playing as Brasilia. Uh, I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Mmm, stroopwafel.